Hey kids, today we're working on a 7500 watt uh, Craftsman generator that is powered by a 15 horsepower overhead valve Briggs and & Stratton and on the Craftsman series generators or portables this is actually a Generac alternator. Uh, the gentleman uh, said that it's not putting out any power. Um, so we got to figure it out. What we're going to do right now, we're going to test this outlet and see how much power is coming out. By doing that, we're going to use a multimeter. How are we going to do it? We're going to set it on 200 alternating current volts, ACV. It's the, the V with the squiggly line. If you have a big monster like this, or if you have what usually everybody has, one of these guys. And it will say ACV has 750 or 200 volt setting. Put it on 200. We want to see if there's 120 volts coming out of this. He says there isn't, so we're going to test it out. We have to start it up right now. Fire in the hole, people. Fire in the hole. If we had crazy things happening, it would be the stator or the stator. But either way, let's open this up. Let's take a look inside. All right. This is your alternator. And this is the alternator cover. Let's take it off the floor. Uh, fairly new. Like I said, it's... People have worked on this before. It's obvious. Okay, take your cover and your screws and put them in a safe spot. Okay, well. Okay. This is the voltage regulator. Let's zoom on this bad boy because I see something already. Look at these little clips in here. That's not normal. Nope, it's not normal. So I already know that the vol voltage regulator has been worked on. It's compromised. She looks old. It's probably the original one. So let's just unplug it anyhow because we got to test. We're going to flash the field. And how we flash a field is through these brushes right here. So we got to unhook the voltage regulator. Take it right out. This is your circuit board. Uh, connector. This is polarity sensitive, so keep track of everything. I take the back wire and I put it in the back. I take the front wire and I set it in the front. The white is always in the front. This is your hot. It's always closest to the, it's always in the front, okay? And the way I like to remember, because like, yeah, who doesn't like back and black by ACDC? The black one goes in the back. And yeah, this is a ACDC unit, alternating current, direct current unit. So anyhow, yep, yeah, that's a fun way to remember. But like, look at this. These uh, connections on here, I don't know what he was doing. I don't know what, what this is. But that's not normal, okay? So this is an abnormal r voltage regulator. So we're chucking it. We're not putting it back in, but we're still going to flash the field, okay? By flashing the field, I'll be able to see how much electricity is actually going through the brushes off your rotor and through your stator, and we're going to see how much electricity is going through it. I use alligator clips, and there is a danger behind it. So the pros, a lot of these pros that do these videos say, hey, don't use alligator clips. 
I'm going to show you how to use alligator clips, okay, safely. We're going to put the black in the back, and I put it through the top end here, and I clip it on. It's really quick and easy. And then I take my red, and you got to make sure your jackets are in, in place on these. If not, you shouldn't use your alligator clips. You should buy some new ones. They're very cheap, or make your own. I like making my own. Make sure the jackets are on. Okay. The key here is make sure no metal is touching your alligator clips, that they are free and clear. If there's any arcing going on, you're going to do some serious welding in here. You're going to cause danger. This is going to become a danger zone. It's always a danger zone. And let me be clear, too. When we start this up, there's going to be power coming out of these now. Right? We, we want the negative hooked up to the battery right now. And I'm going to do it. And check this out. This has a freaking truck battery hooked to it. No lie. He's got a truck battery. We're hooking up to the negative terminal. So I bust on him when I saw that, the truck battery, right? But in seriousness, in the cold weather, you need your cranking amps. Car battery, truck battery, works the best. Those little lawnmower batteries sometimes don't do it. And then you got to go out and jump start or charge it. So he's, yeah, it makes it freaking heavy. But, yep, he got the cranking amps that he needs, okay? So let's zoom in on our alternator. I'm going to leave this dangling. I don't want it touching anything. Because remember, when I start this up, those, these brushes are going to be on that rotor. And it's going to be freaking putting out some power. So respect this. This little guy can kill you. So respect it. And you want to hook it up after you get it running to the positive terminal. Okay, here we go. Fire! Oh, have your multimeter ready. Turned on. Because you don't want to waste any time. We don't want to sit there and uh, um, magnetize everything forever. We want to test our volts coming out of this, um, of this outlet right here. We're checking for 120. We want to test it. See if we can get 120 coming through here when I connect it to the battery. That's my goal. It's my goal. I want to see how much. I want to see if my rotor and my stator are good. I believe that they are. Fire in the hole, people! Here we go! Fire in the hole! Okay, so it's definitely voltage regulator. We pretty much knew that when we took a look at that voltage regulator. I took the liberty of pre-ordering. Briggs and Stratton, would you guys stop tying these together? Why do you do that? Now I got like, because it's a delicate piece of machinery. And now I got like, so be careful when you take these apart. These wires are like, whoever does that, I want to like, mm. it's true story. I really want to, okay. Okay, so my trick is here, I take my back wire first and I put it in the back. So you can see these are from the front. This is in the back. I take my front one that I left in the front and I put it in the front. Make sure they're on securely. I hook up my circuit board. There's only one way that it really can go. There's a lip here. It's got to be tied or uh, 
hooked through this lip here. And it just snaps in place, and these three wires you can test with your multimeter if need be. Here we go. Snap it in. Get that grommet out of the way. Snap it in. It's in. So now we're going to slide it in. It's just like a drawer. 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 We're going to put our grommet on the top of the circuit wires. Circuit board wires. Okay, now we're ready to hook up to our... Um, take off your alligator clips. And we are ready to hook up to the brushes. Which one are we going to do first? Well, let's do the back one first. Because it makes freaking sense, don't it? And which one goes in the back? I'm testing you right now. Yes! The black one. Because it's back in black. I like to use long neck needle nose pliers. Or, I like to take the brushes out. But right now I'm being freaking lazy, people. So I use my needle nose pliers. That helped me guide it in that bag. You can do it with your fingers, all right. But there's this lip here that's going to fight you. And you guys are going to be swearing, doing it this way. But that freaking Steve said this is easy to date easy. He did it in a matter of seconds. But once you get it in, done. Done! It's that easy. It's not that easy. You guys are going to be cursing, I guarantee it. I guarantee it. I've cursed many, many a day. Not really cursed, because I don't swear. It's just swear. I don't swear. I say freaking a lot. Freaking things. What's nice about the needle nose, too, is you can squeeze these on if they feel loose. The back one feels a little loose, so I'm going to squeeze it. Now we're good. Okay, so the brushes are in, our circuit board, or our um, voltage regulator is in, everything's good. Slide this grommet back into place. Let's leave it open in case we got to do some more surgery. But let's start it up. Let's test this baby out. I think we're good. Here we go. Fire in the hole, people. Fire in the hole. safely do it wisely take your time pay attention to the video do it while watch the video while you're doing it um, any questions or comments please be kind let's not do rude comments uh, if I make a mistake let me know in a nice way I do make mistakes it's very rare it's very rare <laughs> look at albino I look like a freaking albino what's going on anyhow uh, appreciate your participation so yeah comments leave me words kind words I'm going to leave links to the voltage regulator for this particular beast I'm going to give you links for tools like the the needle nose pliers for um, for the uh, well, what other tool that I use the multimeters yep yeah yeah you scroll through and you can choose what you want I appreciate it people peace out